when simplifying a rational expression what we're doing is we're trying to cancel out terms on the top with terms on the bottom if we look at our first example this is similar to dividing polynomials like we did in grade 9 if I look at the 15 and the 20 I can find a value that can be divided by both of those it turns out I can divide them both by 5 so on the top here when I divide 15 by 5 I'm going to have 3 and on the bottom when I divide 15 by 5 I'm going to have 4 now I look at my x terms I've got two x's on top with the x squared term it means x times x on the bottom I've got one x which means when I cancel out one of the x's I'm gonna be left with an x on top the y's you've got a y on the top and the y on the bottom when you divide them you're gonna get one which means they're gonna cancel out so we are left with no y's and finally we've got three z's on the top z times z times z we're gonna divide out the z from the bottom and on the top we're gonna to be left with z squared there are two ways or three ways you could write this you could write this as I have it here we could take the fraction out front and have the variables as so or we could have the four on the bottom of all of them have 3x z squared all over 4 they all mean the same thing with a more complicated question the first thing I'm gonna to have to look for is can I factor either the top or the bottom in this example if I look at 3x squared and 8x I can factor an x out of both terms and I'm left with 3x minus 8 on the bottom I can't factor anything so I'm left with 2x now I'm looking for terms that I can cancel out that are the same on the top and the bottom so I have an x on the top and an x on the bottom I can cancel those out I can't cancel this x within the factor because it is not exactly the same as an entire term on the bottom I've got a minus 8 attached to it so it's not the same as just having an x since there's nothing else I can cancel out my top is going to be 3x minus 8 my bottom is going to be 2 but because I have an x in my denominator I do have to indicate that x cannot equal 0 you must indicate your non permissible values at every step of your equation and in my first step I know that x cannot equal 0 finally I may have an expression that I can factor both the top and the bottom in this case I'm looking for a number to multiply to give me 8 and add to give me 6 that's going to be x plus 4 and x plus 2 on the bottom I've got a difference of squares which is going to give me x minus 2 and x plus 2 once I factored it at this stage I am able to indicate my non permissible values for my first factor x minus 2 my non permissible value is 2 for my second factor x plus 2 my non permissible value is negative 2 now I'm looking to cancel expressions and when I'm canceling my brackets have to match exactly so I can't just cancel the X's in these brackets because this one is belongs to an X plus 4 and this one belongs to an X minus 2 so they are not the same factor the only ones in this example that are the same factor are the X plus 2 and the X plus 2 the brackets have to match exactly so my final answer on the top I'm left with an X plus 4 the bottom I'm left with an X minus 2 and I cannot simplify this anymore I can't cancel out my X's because they are attached to other numbers which are different so my final answer in this expression equals X plus 4 divided by X minus 2 one thing that might happen is we might get factors that don't match exactly on our top here I've got a difference of squares so my factors are going to be X minus or 4 minus X and 4 plus X on the bottom I would have to decompose this so I'm looking for two numbers that we're going to multiply to give me 24 and add to give me negative 11 which of course are negative 8 X and negative 3 X when I simplify out I get 2 X and X minus 4 and I divide out a negative 3 and I get X minus 4 so my factors here are 2 X minus 3 and x minus 4 now you notice I have two that are similar I've got an x minus 4 4 minus x they're not exactly the same though so what I'm gonna need to do in order to make 4 minus x the same as x minus 4 is I'm gonna factor out a negative 1 
If I factor out a negative 1, this becomes negative 4 and this becomes positive x, which is the same as x minus 4. My 4 plus x can remain the same. On the bottom, I've got 2 minus 2x two minus 3 and x minus 4. Now, by factoring out my negative 1, now I've got two expressions that are exactly the same, so I can cancel them out. But the negative 1 is not going to go away. So I've got negative 1, 4 plus x, over 2x minus 3. If I wanted to, I could put this negative 1 into my equation. I'm going to get negative 4 minus x over 2x minus 3. The final thing I need to look at is my non-permissible values. And I need to keep track of that every step along the way. So if I look here, when I factor it, I have a factor of 2x minus 3 and a factor of x minus 4. So my non-permissible values, x will not be able to equal 3 over 2, because that will make my term here, 2x minus 3 equal to 0, and I don't want that. The other one is the x minus 4. x cannot be 4, because that will also make this term undefined, because 4 minus 4 will be 0. So even though it cancels out, I do need to indicate that that, that is a non-permissible value.